like how much added pressure would it be if you knew you had to make a sequel right now while you're still making well, the first? Well, this is this is how we, in my opinion, uh, and this is no blame. This is just the history, right? Sure. Is is uh, that's what happened to us on the Oddball Quintology? Meaning, mm -hmm. we released Abe's Odyssey. It was the story I wanted to tell. I was learning how to build games, quite frankly. And then the second part was this whole big story. But what happened was the publisher said, uh, "Doom Two slipped." Unreal slipped. Everyone slipped at Christmas for GT Interactive at the time, except us, and then we were a hit. So then we're like, we need a new one. Yeah. Just use the same engine. And I planned on rebuilding a new engine, and I planned on a lot of stuff. And we need it in nine months. And it was like, ah, it's yeah. not really an engine. It's really a demo that sucks, man. <laughs> like, it, it was terrible technology. It was like, oh, why are you doing this? And I had to change everything about what the original idea was just to produce something in nine months. And uh, what I've heard people say is uh, twice the gameplay, half the inspiration, you know, half mm -hmm. the soul. And I think that was very accurate, right? So that's just a personal experience. That's a, that's a great saying. How you get off track. And then after that, we, we were doing Munch's Odyssey. And uh, we were aligned, very fortunately, with uh, the Xbox launch, right? And we were just trying to survive. But what happened then is Microsoft going, we think you're the Mario killer for us. So that tended to shape a little bit of, and you're trying to be a good partner, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. And who am I to argue? I imagine they had all the market stuff. Someone, when someone says you're the Mario killer, that puts a little bit of an expectation on you that might be pressure. Well, yeah, a little, a little bit. I'm like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> we're really going to dethrone yeah. the moto, you know. <laughs> right. But it, that, that was like, you know, when they look at demographic and we plan to do this and that. So that tends to, sh the business and, and the timing and the pressures can shape the content. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened to us. And that's, in the new one that we're doing, I was like, you know what, let's get back to that original idea because I love the universe. Uh, I love the possibility of what we said with a five-part series. And I said, well, let's get back to what the original intention was. So people think we're remaking uh, what, what was Abe's Exodus, right? Mm -hmm. and, and I'm not trying to be here pimping that. But no, what, it's just fascinating. But what we, what we did was I said, okay, let's get to the original soul of what that game was supposed to be. And the game we released was nothing like it, but it went through this journey, you know, involving trains, involving mm -hmm. different factories, involving brew. Let's get back to the original of it. And then we just completely rescoped it. We completely start from ground zero. But one of the reasons I was able to kind of get away with this insanity is no one else is paying for it except our, our dumb asses, you know? Yeah, that's... And we're really going for broke on this, you know, and I get no sleep throughout the year, and that's typical. But, uh, but the reason was, it's like, let's get back to the heart of what it meant, you know? And we were able to kind of build Abe's Odyssey that way, and it took us over two and a half years to build the company, build the team, and release the product. And then we're in similar sort of scopes now, but we have slightly different models about how we produce it. Uh, and we're trying to do a lot more with a lot less. And, but we're able to stay true to a vision because we don't have same, someone saying, look, we need that for this Q4 or else we're all screwed together. Right. And uh, so we're able to have more of that creative uh, intention that we always wanted. And that's the problem when you get into systems. And I'm not, you know, it's, it's just business, right? Like here we have a quarter billion dollar economic failure, mm -hmm. right, right? So it's like, I decided, I was like, instead of trying to build $40 million games, uh, maybe we can build five to $10 million games. Mm -hmm. And then if we can do that self-publishing and return 2X, we get to build another game yeah, and, and have some fun along employed, the way, get a little, people, stay employed, yeah, you know, keep it simple, right? But we're not with a public company that needs to have a 5X return or you're a loser. And we're not with a VC that has to have a 10x return, or you're a loser, right? Right, and so it's a different ratio of. Uh... That's insane. It's it's interesting to hear those thoughts because that's still that's that's actually echoed in the film industry as well.